Okay, this is a video about the apparent solar angle and elevation angle of the North Star with respect to where you are on the Earth and, um, and with respect to your local horizon. Um, first, the rays from the Sun. The Sun is so far away, all the rays are parallel. Okay? your solar plane here and the North Star is so far away all the rays come in parallel anywhere on Earth okay um, your solar plane is equivalent to your uh, equator line on uh, March 21st and September 21st on those uh, spring and fall equinoxes that's like, you know, only two days out of the year is equivalent um, to the solar plane. Other than that, the sun tilts, I mean the earth tilts uh, towards the sun in the summer, 23 and a half degrees, and it will tilt back 23 and a half degrees in the winter. So there's a lot of changes going on, so the, the angles are going to change. Okay, but I'm just, uh, this analysis just for those two days that I mentioned to make it easy to understand. Um, these H marks here are your horizons for people standing at these points on the earth. You know, this is actually a 360 degree disc. If they were to stand and, and look around then they would see this line here. And it actually uh, does go off into space, you know. You'll see some of the ground, but it eventually does go out into space, off the Earth. Okay, the H is horizon seen at those locations. It is a 360-degree disk. Okay, here's the, ra the center of the Earth and the radius. Um, this is how, uh, if you're in New York, your latitude is about 40 degrees, so... That's with um, your angle with respect to the center of the Earth, actually. So, right here, you take 40 degrees. That would be your latitude. Okay, the angle of the North Star. When you are standing here at 40 degrees, and you look at the North Star, and with respect to the horizon is 40 degrees. It's equivalent to your latitude. Um, and your solar angle with respect to the horizon line here is going to be 90 degrees minus your latitude or in this case it's going to be 50 degrees. That's kind of obvious too because if you draw this right angle here here, here, it's a right angle. It's supposed to be 90 degrees, so these two um, complementary angles uh, add up to 90 degrees for, for any right triangle. All the angles within it have to sum up to 90. That's a fact, a geometric fact. Um, Okay. And that's about it. Okay, thank you.